And we're back. Yes, we are. Whoa. What's a little loud? Turn that down for a brother. Yeah. We're cruising up to Montana. Uh, Matt's taking the wheel. Yeah, I've got the wheel right now, and it feels pretty damn good. And I got your nose. <laughs> Talked about this? I'm seriously done with that shit. Give it okay. back okay. or get the fuck out, dude. Hey, here. There. Don't start don't start it off on the wrong foot like that, man. Sorry, I was just, just restart. I was just hey guys. A little, I was stop. Supposed, hey guys, welcome back to Truck Sim. I was trying to be a friend and it was just supposed to be a bit. It's not a bit when you take my fucking nose, dude. You know how You know how fucking upset that makes me. I'm I'm driving off the road and shit because of it. This might make you feel better. Look at this. Whoa! And? And? How the fuck did you do that? Yep. Okay, when you showed me, you had your fingers looped together in front of your face, you yep. put them on your head, and you pulled them back, and they were unlooped. Yep. How did you do that? I'm serious. The magician never uh, reveals his uh, secrets. Are you doing black magic again? Please, uh, I please, don't think Please don't be dabbling is, in that is, shit again, dude. I don't think magic is, uh, you know, particularly, you know, a certain races thing. It's not like a race thing. I think uh, anyone can do magic. That's a good point. I'm sorry for my bigotry. I'm sorry. Dude, look, look at us go. Dude, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. Like, I shouldn't be allowed to go this fast. I'm going the speed limit, though. But I'm fucking flying. I got scared for a second. Maybe we de decoupled somewhere because of how fast I'm going. No, you can see in the rear view, babe. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I had to get that yawn out. Yeah? I'm I'm not bored. I'm I'm just get I'm just a little uh I'm just my energy's running low. Are you bored with my let's playing, dude? No, 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 no. Don't. I think I'm doing a pretty damn good job. Thank you, you very much. You do a great job. You do a fantastic job, and I love you, and you're a great man. I love you too, man. You're a fantastic man. Thanks. You know, in the last episode, I really felt a deep connection while we were sitting listening to a uh, lag FM in that parking lot when uh, uh, I remember Ninja Sex UK Party was playing yeah. yeah and it was we were looking around the city and it was raining old times you know yeah and old times doesn't like mean that times. they're gone forever those old times no know? that's why you make new times to be as good or better than the old times if you always live in the past you can't enjoy the present and I don't know what was a better example of living in the present than sitting in that parking lot with you while it rained yeah what was that, Matt? A mistake. A very big mistake, Ryan. What in the world? What did you do? Uh, the controller messed up. The controller messed up? Did it? Can you switch the view for me? <laughs> what happened? Press up on the D-pad. Oh. <laughs> uh, might have made a little mistake. Uh, was it the controller? Did it bug out even though it was wired in? Yeah. Yes. What did you do? What happened? Were you not paying attention? No, I was about to miss the turn. And you uh, thought you could uh, cut it real, real quick. And real, I actually cut quick. and I actually cut too early, it looks like. God damn it. Taking a shortcut, buddy? Nope. Ooh. It's okay. It's just a fucking stake and it's just a stake. Didn't add any damage. What did that take us to? 16? I didn't see. I don't think our cargo got damaged. No, we got like 1% damage on the cargo. You know what it is, Ryan? I haven't had my nicotine. Can I puff on that pixie stick? Mine's charging in the other room. There you go. Could you do it for me? Could you put it in my mouth? Sure. Let me puff a little bit. I, I got both hands, uh, other end, Ryan. Oh. I got both hands on the wheel. How was that? Good, it squirted a little juice in my mouth. Ooh. Oh, my lips are numb. <sighs> I spit in it a little bit for a little surprise for yep. you. Oh, yeah. Taste that. Taste that. Oh. Okay, well, that didn't set us back too far. No. That could have been real bad, you know, where, like, we get stuck in the traffic because the cars won't back up. I'm sure it's just another $5,000 repair. It's fine. We're rich. We have $160,000. Brother, we're getting over $85,000 from this job. I mean, <laughs> is 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 5000 really that big of a no, deal? not at all. And I don't want people to pass me, so I'm going to drive right, split between the lanes. That's what I'd always do. Teach them, teach them motherfuckers a lesson. Who owns the road? Matt Watson and Ryan McGee do. We own the road. Yeah. Daddy owns the road. Yeah, he does. Okay, here we go. Back on track. No one's passing me. 
Going up the hill. We're in 12th gear. We should try this. You know, we really should bust out the old uh, steering wheel again and try it again. We need a better setup for it, though. I feel like we set it up bad. We just didn't set it up correctly, so, like, all the screws were loose, and it was all, like, wobbly and shit. <laughs> oh, way station Gotta service. pull in for the way. Gotta way, don't worry. Ryan, after this Make mission... Make sure you weigh yourself. We'll have over $200,000. And you know what that means. We'll be fucking loaded. Means we'll we could stack. Means we could spend a little money. You know what I'm saying? Maybe on a little makeover. Yeah, a little makeover might not hurt. Okay. You know, a little makeover never hurt anyone. All right, let's see. Especially you when you wear that makeup. Ah, <sighs> sorry. Say that again. Especially you when you wear that makeup. I wish you wore it more. I keep trying to tell you, you know. What? Okay, shut up. About this. What? I'll wear the makeup more. If you wear that little dress I like. <laughs> the little blue and green it's one. It's too skimpy. You know that. Oh, come on. Nah. Stop. Hey, I don't remember this I becoming a bargaining close game. Friend story. I saw friend's story. I thought you should have been, uh, I thought that belonged on the public story. You should have been more confident in yourself. I'm not going to wear that to work, Ryan. It's too revealing. Oh, good. Well, just on recording days when it's just you and me. Well, it's a recording day today, but everyone else is here. Yeah. Well, Imagine if I came in with that skirt. Everyone would be oogling and ogling at me all day. Yeah. I don't want to distract ain't our... Such a, ain't, ain't a bad thing, though, is it? I don't want to distract our employees, Ryan. We're paying them to do a job. I don't want to interfere with that. You should feel good about yourself. You should walk in, be a little treat for everyone, you know? Mm. Boost up your uh, self-confidence a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. I'll think about it. You know, maybe you forget to wear your whitey tidies. <laughs> That was one time, Ryan. <laughs> the, one time. The thought of like looking up like a woman's skirt and it's whitey tighties. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches wearing whitey tighties in their skirt just just punch the air. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe with the fucking like vent thing. It's a pair <gasps> of like soiled whitey tighties. A pair of like Spider-Man boxers. <laughs> she knew exactly what she was doing when she walked over that damn grate. I I know. I she knew what she she knew it was going to be blowing up wind. Did you uh see that Monroe? Monroe movie? No. Neither did I. Why would they make like a like a big budget biopic like they always have to choose a name like Monroe. It's like give it give it like a cooler name. Like I, I heard it was bad. Me too. I heard it was awful. If they made one about you would they just call it McGee? I hope so. That would actually be pretty cool. That's what my teachers would cry out into the halls if they if they needed to get my attention. McGee! McGee! Because I'm guessing they had multiple Ryans and it was easier that oh. way. Oh. I was just Matt W. What's up, Matt W? Yep. That was, uh, that's what I went by for a long time. Hey, you know, matches and cadence to DW. Oh, yeah. So is that so bad? No. And you know, the- You're like the, Arthur's little sister. Well, the woman that voiced DW came to my school. In elementary school, and she read for us. Isn't in, that cool? In the DW voice? No, I don't think so. Mm. Just just in her regular voice. Which, mm. like, if you're going to have, like, a cartoon character's voice actor come to a school, make him do the voice, you yeah. know? That's what the kids want to hear. They don't want... Otherwise, she's just some random lady reading a book. I remember some random lady read uh, the first Shrek book to a group when I was in elementary school, and they had the preface it. Because the word ass is in that book. Mm. And the preface is like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. you got to be a little mature about this. There's a word in here that you you might see, but I'll do my best to censor it. Did they? Oh, we're in Colorado, by the way. Colorado Springs. So we definitely already drove through Oklahoma. Damn it. Did you, you didn't want... You, well, I mean... Hold on a second. Where what? are we? We oh, there is no driving. Oklahoma. Oklahoma's coming soon. Okay. So we drove through Texas, a little bit into New Mexico, and now we're in a new state. So yeah, everything from here on is brand new, brother. Brand spanking new. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, so all of these sites, brand new. Pueblo. We hope you all enjoy them. <sighs> bought the DLC for you. We bought the DLC just for you guys. But we, we made this for you. I made this for you. Is that a reference to hot Kool-Aid? Yeah, Julian Smith. Julian? 
I don't know why I have to keep looking over at you when I'm talking, because then I, I distract myself and I almost crash. La Junta. Yeah, I had a pretty damsel show me her La Junta last week. Hell yeah, brother. You know, whoa, 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 graffiti. And damn it. What kind of neighborhood are we in? I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Look at all that graffiti on the walls. Damn it. Jim, my stepdad, really comes across, and maybe our employee, really comes across as the guys to, you know, go to a, go to a gas station, you know, go, Hey, homie, can oh I get a pack of smokes? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, homie. Hey, senor, can I get some more nachos, por favor? What? I'm trying to connect with their culture. It's not rude. I love that. That's my favorite. When like a like a boomer will be like, uh, dos margaritas, por favor. Dude, and okay, then be like, boomer girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new one, Ryan. Okay, liberal. Really? Yeah. When did that come out? It's on. It's on. I've seen it on Twitter. Oh, she, has a, she has a shirt that says Marx. I gotta look this up. Okay, liberal. Yeah, and she has a shirt that says Marx. Okay, I'm looking it up. What color shirt? Red. Ooh. Okay, liberal ticked. Oh, damn. Th this girl looks really familiar, and I don't know why, though. Like, I feel like I've seen her in something online before. Yeah, I can tell you uh, where uh, where you've seen her before. Where? I recognize I recognize that face anywhere. It's a very distinctive face. Yep. little movie called Ice Age and Ice Age 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're naughty, Ryan. You're naughty. I, I am. You are naughty. I'm a little naughty one. That got you, though, huh? It, it got me good. It got me. <laughs> oh, new viewpoint. I don't know if we can keep that in, but. Oh, hey, I saw, she's a proud necrophiliac, so. <laughs> Is she? Uh, Is according she to her Twitter, yeah. Did she just joke about it, though? I don't know. I just saw on her Twitter. She, she is like, okay, and? Because people were, like, calling her out for being into necrophilia. Just let people enjoy their kinks, guys. So what if it involves a corpse and defiling it? It's illegal. Ryan, I'm not here to kink shame. I guess you could pay someone to act like a corpse. Like sit in an ice bath. Then go out and lay in a bed for you or something. On a nice Induce cold Induce hypothermia? Gurney. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure people do that. Man, ice water hurts. It does, dude. Hurts so bad. Ice water is painful. I've always wanted to jump into an absolutely frigid pool of ice water. Because, ice water challenge, y'all. Because normally when, when, whenever we would get in ice water, you know, it's like you just put your foot in first and then, the, and then you ease in. But, like, I wanted to see what it feels like fully jumping into, like, like a frozen lake. <laughs> no. It's like your whole body becomes sore. Like, it almost feels like you're just being crushed by coldness. I'd like to see what it feels like to jump into, like, 35-degree water. Joe and Rogan does. Does he do, like, the... Cold water stuff. He has an ice bath at home. There's videos and stuff of it. Justin, sure. Here's here's Joe Rogan taking an ice bath. Justin, take it away. Hello, friends. Oh. Woo. And we're in Denver. Yep. Thank you, Justin. I like that little train that went over. That was cute. <coughs> you like Denver? Have I been? Have you? I don't think so. <sighs> Unless we went on tour, then no. We did not go to Denver on well, tour. Then I did not go to Denver. And have they call it. The Mile High City. Okay. They call it the Mile High City. It's what they call it. It's what they've been calling it. It's Are a mile there, high. Uh, any famous people from Colorado? Yeah, dude. Tons of famous people from Name Colorado. Them. I can't. See? I can't. I'm sorry. If anyone lives in Colorado, fucking... If. Stop watching this video. You suck. Turn it off right now. Yep. We don't like you. I want to see if in the... You're boring. Viewer analytics, if the retention drops <laughs> off right there. Yeah, our, our huge viewer base in Colorado, the most, the, like, most fucked up, boring state. What are you talking about? Colorado is fucking beautiful. Colorado is known for being the shittiest, smelliest state. It, it is I don't ranked, know about that. It is ranked in the top 50 of all time worst managed sewage, like, sewage uh, fucking... I don't know what, like, pipes or whatever the fuck the system's called. It smells bad. The people are rude and ugly. So you're telling me that Colorado is in the top 50 worst states? Smelling states of all time. Yeah. 
Well, I was there recently and it smelled pretty bad. No, I'm just giving it a hard time. I've never been. So you're spreading lies about Colorado. I is. I, I is. You do, is that what you do for fun now? <laughs> just yeah. spread lies about states you've never been to? <laughs> yeah, fuck Colorado. It is a beautiful place. It's a... Uh, Top 50 smelliest United States states. <laughs> Thank God you specified United States. states. <laughs> none of them, uh, none of them, uh, South American states. Hey, what's up? You guys care if I take the mic yep. Uh, I do care if you take the mic mounts, Layton. Yeah. Now what? Now what? Nothing. What's the next move? Okay. Well, if uh, if everything's not set up correctly, we're gonna we're gonna have to. Layton, when we, by the time we end this episode, if the podcast is not fully set up, I am going to be living. But you cannot have these mic mounts. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have fun. Love See you. Ya. Where does he get off? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Thinking, Layton, you can come grab him. If you're, st- I know you're still listening out there, Layton. Actually, I was walking. <laughs> I was grabbed after. <laughs> Go ahead, Layton, grab him. You Just don't to, interfere you, with my truck. You have to dodge my little piggies, though. Ooh. That's Watch hard for Layton. Layton. Ooh. Oh. They, they always end up in his mouth somehow. All right. Layton, as long as you don't interfere with my truck, and oh, Ryan's kicking his little piggies up. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh, Layton. Uh oh. Uh oh. The wall's collapsed. Ah. Layton's trapped. <laughs> oh no, my worst fears, dude. My asshole Ryan, is perfectly. I know, I know. Ryan's literally sitting in the position of like a baby when it's being chained. <laughs> Did you get him, buddy? Oh yeah, I got him. Ryan, okay. we're in Loveland. Loveland. Yeah, we're passing through Loveland. Still in Texas. Colorado now, baby. Colorado. You ever been to Colorado? Yes. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. All right. That's like, what- uh, Mount Cheyenne and. I heard it smells bad in Colorado. Colorado Springs is nice. I, uh, I stopped it. It does still, smell like I'm weed. I'm still lying. I'm still. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Matt. I've just been shit talking Colorado just for no reason. Oh, have you? Yeah. yeah I heard a lot of ah, shit. In, uh, Colorado yep, exactly. What a, what a Bunch of do nothing drug addicts. Why well, dogs a bounty hunter goes around getting them, picking them up, yeah. living off government cheese? Yep. Fuckers. Bunch of bunch of lazy liberals. I bet. Oh, yeah. It's Colorado, Ryan. There's definitely a bunch of lazy liberals. First state to legalize weed. Why do you think they did that? Because they're lazy? Yep. All they want to do is sit on their ass, eat hot Cheetos, and smoke marijuana all day. Well, we're doing good. I need to get the uh, my truck fixed. But I, I knew it would say invalid when I pulled into the, the way station, but I still did it because I knew if I bypassed it anyway, I'd get a fine for it. Yeah. So I still stopped regardless. So why is it wrong? Is it because we damaged it or something? Yes. It says our truck is not in suitable condition. Really? I mean, it's been driving us from place to place. I only fucking slammed the 18-wheeler at full speed head on into a fucking side thing. It's not a big deal. Yeah. These types of accidents happen every day. All the time. And I am still trucking. I'm excited to get out of Colorado and see what what great states await us next. You know that you're paying attention to this Let's Play by typing in the number 643. Thank you. So, uh, what were you, what were you about? What were you saying? Um, you know what state we're going into next, don't you? Nope. Take a wild guess, McGee. What's right above Colorado? South Carolina. Yes, sir. Woo-hoo! Stopping in Charleston, get some of them <laughs> shrimp. How good are you at United States geography? Uh, probably bad now. I'm pretty bad once you get up into the Northeast and the the like Midwest, like around the Great Lakes. Yeah. It's just a bunch of stupid states that no one gives a shit about, just sitting there, and it's like Florida looks like stupid Italy. I know that. It's America's penis. <laughs> exactly. Wyoming. Here we are, brother. Really? Did yeah. we cross the state line? Just crossed it straight into Wyoming. Oh, buddy. Look at that. See Wyoming billboard? Muffin Mondays? Wait, is that just a is that just a Wyoming thing? Yeah, every Monday <laughs> in Wyoming. Free muffins. <laughs> the fuck Who's was honking? that? Uh, not me. There's no one near you. Who's honking? I don't know. The fuck is that? I hear a bunch of horns. There's a biplane. Nope, that's a light post. I, I thought it was a biplane, too. 
Well, it's also, you shouldn't just assume it's orientation based on one look, but um, look at us in Wyoming. Ah. Ah. Oh. When I was a kid, I used to really, I had a period in third grade where I wrote a paper on Wyoming because I thought it was so cool Ooh. just because of the name. It was like a state I had like never heard of, and I was like, that's a cool name. It has a W and then a Y. Wyoming. I, but I, I remember I used to spell it uh, Y mowing. Like a fucking idiot. Why mowing, I think. You're not an idiot, Matthew. I mean, how is a little boy in South Carolina supposed to know about Wyoming and you how to spell it? You can fix the truck over there. You do I look like I want to do that, Ryan? Beautiful soul. Your name is Matt Watson, and you are so. Be a beautiful, be a beautiful. When I'm driving this virtual truck. 18-wheeler to Wyoming, Wyoming State. State. Driving through the state of Wyoming has me loving Matt Watson. Woo! Matt Watson. Casper! That's where Dick Cheney's from. Uh, uh fr the go friendly ghost. Throw up a picture, Justin, of Casper and Dick Cheney. You know, I was saying, you know, after that whole pothole situation, again, I'm just saying that, you know, if my taxes are supposed to be going to fixing the roads, you think the government could, you know, give me some money since the roads damage my car? Well, Ryan, that would have to imply that they're actually using your tax money to fix the roads to begin with. <laughs> Isn't it implied already? Isn't but that what taxes should be used for? No. <laughs> I think they should be used to uh, help our hardworking senators get vacation homes. Okay, okay. I hear hey, you. Hey, work they hard, are. play hard. I mean, they are doing the Lord's work. They are. Seeking Jod's Gustus. <laughs> Jod's Gustus. Jod's Gustus. <laughs> Jod's Gustus. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I do declare, son, I took this job as a United States Senator to seek Jaws Gustus. <laughs> and I will forever hold up Jaws reigning Gustus on this nation. Okay. It's beautiful, man. I'm gonna go home now. And it's Modelo time. Hey, it is Modelo time. It is. What time is it? It's 5.59. It's one minute away from Modelo time, brother. <laughs> Okay, Douglas, loving these names of these towns in Wyoming. If you're a meghead from Douglas, Wyoming, mm, come out and wave on the side of the road as we pass by. Here we go. Bye. Mm, here we go. Thank you for coming out. Wow, there's all the Douglas megheads. Bye. Hello. See ya. I didn't see a single one, Ryan. They call themselves fans. Yeah. Maybe it was a little short notice, granted, but, you know. Shut just, up. What? What? What, ha what happened? Not you. Engine malfunction. I'm okay. just telling my, my engine to stop yelling at me. Well, hopefully you will find a, uh, whatever you say, liberal. liberal. Okay. Okay. Liberal. I'll tell you what, man. This generation of, uh, the generation of 16-year-old communists are going to save us. <laughs> You're going to save us from the evil of this nation. What's love got to do, got to do with it? What's love but a word Fucking barbershop quartet. <laughs> None of them know the words. But a devotion. Hibbity bibbity bop. Boom 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 boom. Hibbity bibbity bop. Home but boom boom. Hibbity hibbity. But on bum bum bibbity bop bop da do boo 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 bibbity bop bop ba doo boo. What? What song is that? I don't know. Did you just come up with that off the fly, dude? Yep. That was fantastic. Thanks, man. You gotta be shitting me. You did not just come up with that. <laughs> I mean, it's more of like just a parody of all. I'm a genius. I'm a musical genius. I'm a musical genius. You're a scat genius, dude. Lyrical miracles. Mmm. That's good, too. Bet you never heard that one before. Spinning lyrical miracles. That's all I got. Empirical. Um. No fix. Oh, there's a fix it, Felix. Nope. Never mind. Ooh, I can feel the fucking thing going. 
Yeah, the there's engine. no. Yeah, there, it, it vibrates. There's no place to fix down here, though. Nope. Just well, gotta drive a little further. Thanks a lot, Casper. You check the map and see how close we are to a potential. You would, you would fucking think. What? In the hometown of Dick Cheney. You know? There would be one service station. There'd be one service station. For God's hardest working soldiers. But no. Um, you check the map, though. I don't want to check the map, Why Ryan. Not? Why don't you check I'll, the map? I'll do it in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.